All right, folks, thanks for checking out the video. I want to talk today about an exchange between Nikki Haley and Vivek Ramaswamy in the third Republican primary debate that took place in Miami, Florida on November 8th, 2023. Now, I don't think either of these candidates is going to be the Republican nominee in 2024. That's going to be Donald Trump. This exchange highlights an important battle taking place within the Republican Party for what the party is going to stand for moving forward. So I'm going to play the clip and then we will talk a little bit about it. All right, so I thought that that was an interesting exchange there. Um, so you have a neoconservative in Nikki Haley, and you have a more America First style candidate in Vivek Ramaswamy. Now, what what we heard there from Nikki Haley was she wants to go to war with Iran. I mean, straight up. And what we heard from Vivek Ramaswamy was a much more I would say measured in a much more non-interventionist position. Now, historically, uh, in, in the previous generation, the Republican Party of the Bushes, the McCains, the Romneys, uh, pretty much all the way up until Trump has been very interventionist and has been eager for conflict. And a lot of that changed when Donald Trump got elected. Okay. And there's been many candidates who are more in the Trump mold that have come into the Republican primary or in the Republican party lately than had before. Okay. And 
you know, shout out to Vivek Ramaswamy here. I mean, I mean, he clearly triggered Nikki Haley. And, she, and it's interesting that she had nothing to say about his, his comment about her enriching herself uh, as, a, as a defense lobbyist or, or, or contractor um, after she left office, both as governor and, and as a secretary to the U.N., she didn't have anything to say about that. She she kind of had an awkward look on her face and r- really didn't have anything to say about that because what can she say about that? That's just the facts. And again, Vivek has been taking a very measured approach when it comes to Ukraine and saying, you know, we don't need to be sending them all this money. That That's, that's not our battle. And He's been consistently right on that topic. So clearly Donald Trump is is still the face of the Republican Party. He's somebody who's going to be the nominee in 2024. And the biggest question right now is going to be in four years, uh, whether um, the party is going to take a more non-interventionist America first approach or are they going to try to continue this world police uh, sort of neoconservative approach? And I think Vivek Ramaswamy is a great communicator of the America First message. So, I again, I, I thought this was a really interesting exchange. Um, these, these two have sort of gone at it uh, in all the debates so far. And, you know, one other thing to keep in mind is... You know, Vivek Ramaswamy has been on numerous long form, in depth interviews with independent political commentators. Okay. I've never seen Nikki Haley on anything like that. And it's very clear to me that if Nikki Haley and Vivek Ramaswamy were to have a one on one debate, uh, I think he would turn Nikki Haley inside out and, and it would be something really embarrassing for her. Okay. She, she has these, these canned responses and, you know, she's, she's constantly being propped up by the establishment. Uh, they, you know, we keep seeing the narrative that, oh, there's a, there's a Nikki Haley surge in the polls when in fact her support is actually very small for somebody who's been a two-term governor uh, and a cabinet official. Okay. So Keep that in mind. Again, you're not going to see Nikki Haley in any type of critical or unscripted moment. So keep that in mind. Anyways, um, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.